Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net with a review of an Epson projector. Fancy becoming an editor for the world of tech? Just head over to the world of tech.net and click that become an editor button. So if we begin, this is the Epson home projector, it is the EHTW3200, which is indeed a gaming projector. You can get it from several different places, it's available on the Epson website, it's also available on Amazon and several different retailers around. It's just a pretty much plain box, it's a brown box, and as you can see it's just got PR stock written on it as it is. So what I'm now going to do is just cut the safety seal, like so. And hopefully this should open up like that. Oh. So first of all, this has been opened before by other people reviewing it. First of all, we're greeted with a power plug. So this is a kettle plug, the three pin kettle, kettle plug. It looks pretty long, so that's pretty good. We've also got the standard VGA cable. Also some Epsom information, thank you for purchasing your LCD projector, some documentation on a CD-ROM, and of course um, some safety information, important notices, guarantee information, and the controls for the remote, and of course the remote here, which is already out of the box, so there is the remote. Underneath here, if you remove that big large piece of cardboard, we now have the projector itself. And it looks pretty large, so what I'm going to do is lift it out like so. Just place it down here and move the box out of the way. So here is the projector itself completely unboxed. If we remove this styrofoam or whatever you want to call it out of the way, and just Unwrap this like so. Put that off to one side. So here it is. Here is the Epsom EHTW3200 projector. And as you can see, it's very big and very heavy. So I'm now going to show you the projector itself along the front here. We have a big fan for ventilation, an Epsom sign, and of course the lens here. If we just take off the lens cap, there it is. You can twist it to adjust the focus. If we just pop that down, it's quite heavy, this projector. The first thing to notice up here, we've got the adjustments for the actual lens to bring it up and down further up your projector board. If we bring it forwards, there we have an Epsom logo and a little slot where you can actually take out and replace the filter, clean the filter out. Here we have a power button and also an output button, a little light which gives you the lamp status and also the temperature status. And there is a little black thing which is of course the sensor for the remote. If we just twist it round on this side, if you can see here, we have buttons, we have a menu button, enter, left, right, up, down and an exit button twist it around to the back and this is where all the ports on this projector are. Over to the far left we have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, component, video, S-video, PC VGA and of course a serial connection and RS-232C and also the trigger out if you want to mount it on the ceiling. Here we also have a little fan guard and behind that's a filter there a filter and a fan, and down here we have a power button and the three pin socket to plug in the kettle lead. And on the other side here, it is blank. Of course, like all projectors, on the front, we do indeed have the little adjustment things to adjust the angle of the projector, and they are indeed there. And on the bottom is pretty much not a lot. So that is the Epson TW, no, EHTW E200 projector. Stay tuned for the full review of this projector. For more tech news and reviews, head over to theworldoftech.net. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.